We can't put our sins behind us until we are ready to face them. Our Daily Bread Today's encouragement from the Our Daily Bread devotional was written by Julie Ackerman Link. The St. Olaf Choir from Northfield, Minnesota is renowned for making beautiful music. One reason for its excellence is the selection process. Applicants are chosen based not only on how well they sing, but also on how they sound as part of the whole. Another reason is that all members agree to make the choir their first priority and commit to a rigorous rehearsal and performance schedule. Now, one of the most intriguing things about this choir is what happens during rehearsals. Whenever members make a mistake, they raise their hand. Instead of trying to hide the blunder, they call attention to it. This allows the conductor to help each singer learn the difficult part, and it increases the likelihood of a flawless performance. I think this is the kind of community Jesus was establishing when he told Nicodemus in John 3 that God sent his Son into the world to save it, not condemn it. We then read in chapter 4 that shortly after this conversation, Jesus encountered a Samaritan woman at the public well. He made it easy for her to admit failure by promising her a better way of life where she could enjoy his forgiveness. As members of Christ's body on earth, we should not fear admitting our wrongs, but welcome it as an opportunity to together experience and rejoice in the forgiveness of God. Today's Our Daily Bread devotional scripture reading is from John chapter 4, verses 7 through 15 and verses 28 through 30. When a Samaritan woman came to draw water, Jesus said to her, Will you give me a drink? His disciples had gone into town to buy food. The Samaritan woman said to him, You are a Jew, and I am a Samaritan woman. How can you ask me for a drink? For Jews do not associate with Samaritans. Jesus answered her, If you knew the gift of God and who it is that asks you for a drink, you would have asked him, and he would have given you living water. Sir, the woman said, you have nothing to draw with, and the well is deep. Where can you get this living water? Are you greater than our father Jacob, who gave us this well and drank from it himself, as did his sons and his livestock? Jesus answered, Whoever drinks this water will be thirsty again, but whoever drinks the water I give them will never thirst. Indeed, the water I give them will become in them a spring of water welling up to eternal life. The woman said to him, Sir, give me this water so that I won't get thirsty and have to keep coming here to draw water. And verses 28 through 30. Then, leaving her water jar, the woman went back to the town and said to the people, Come, see a man who told me everything I ever did. Could this be the Messiah? They came out of the town and made their way toward him. That was today's scripture reading from John chapter 4 verses 7 through 15, and verses 28 through 30. Let's pray now. Lord, it's our tendency to hide our sins and flaws. May we come to you in full honesty, understanding that we are loved and forgiven by you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Today's encouragement was provided by Our Daily Bread Ministries. 